Okay, today we'll be replacing the diaphragm on a PV uh, 22A driver. Sometimes you'll see it numbered with uh, 22A or 22XT. Uh, they both require the PV 22XT uh, diaphragm replacement. This particular horn is out of a PV SP4 cabinet, um, but others are similar, and many of them use the same uh, driver, which is a very common uh, PV model. So the first thing we'll want to do is take a look at our old diaphragm to see where the positive and negative connections are here. Positive indicated with kind of a red washer underneath the tab of the diaphragm. It's a very normal setup on these drivers. And I like to take the diaphragm and mark a little positive connection point on the magnet plate to indicate the positive side before removing the old diaphragm. So we'll go ahead and do that. And this particular driver is installed with six quarter inch uh, nuts that uh, attach the uh, driver diaphragm to the top plate. So we'll remove those one at a time. Quarter inch driver is the easiest thing to use for that. So loosen them around the outside of the diaphragm. And at this point, when the six screws are loose, the driver should simply lift right off of the top plate of the magnet, like so. Okay. At this point, you have the six screws still in the driver cap from the old diaphragm, so we want to remove those. Simply turn the diaphragm over and remove the screws. Set those aside. As you can see here, the old diaphragm has a torn membrane right above the voice coil to the diaphragm itself. This is a very common problem you'll see when these units have been overdriven or overpowered um, that causes failure to the diaphragm, in which case uh, we're going to replace. So we'll set the bad diaphragm aside for now. And the new diaphragm comes boxed just like this. You simply remove it from the the packaging here. You see that the new diaphragm has the same guide pins here and here as the old diaphragm. We want to take a look and make sure that everything looks round and clean, and it does. And I like to mark the diaphragm with a date before installing it just to keep track of when it was uh, installed for uh, service. So we'll use a black Sharpie marker here and come in and just simply write the date on the diaphragm. We'll set that aside for a moment. We want to take a look at the magnet plate at this point. What we want to look for here is any debris or buildup of rust particles inside the magnet gap. We want to check the phase plug here to make sure it's not loose or cracked in any way. And In this case it looks like it's in great shape. Uh, for good measure we'll go ahead and run uh, a piece of masking tape sticky side out around the magnet gap here. Uh, just to give it uh, a light dusting basically inside just to make sure we pick up any particles that we can't see by eye. So we'll take our business or our uh, tape here, <coughs> sticky side out. You can use a business card, something of this nature here. Just something kind of thin but strong enough to support the tape. Run around the diaphragm gap or the magnet gap a couple of times here. So simply remove whatever dust and debris may be present in the magnet gap and that should do it. In many cases you'll see that you'll have a little bit of dust particle here just a little bit of dirt and dust just from normal use and that's that's okay but we want to make sure we clean that out before we install the new diaphragm so as to uh, not cause any problems. Next thing we want to do is get the new diaphragm ready to install again Take a note of the guide pins here and here on the PV. Others are similar. And our positive connection point here that we marked before we remove the old diaphragm corresponds to the new diaphragm positive turner terminal connection point here with the red washer. And that's what we'll line up when we install the new diaphragm. And there we go. It sets down in place very easily. Just press lightly down around the diaphragm to seat it, and at this point we can reinstall the six screws.
best way to do these is to start side to side just slightly snug don't over tighten at this point did the front one here first the back one then we'll go over and do the side screws as well front to back left to right that gives you the idea there and again just slightly snug not over tightened just want to secure it in place then I like to go back to the first uh, starting location here the starting location for the screws and just give it a little bit of a turn about a quarter turn on each one is fine same pattern as before you don't want to over tighten the driver diaphragm and cause any binding of the voice coil uh, in the magnet gap or against the phase plug uh, with the diaphragm inside um, once it is mounted here and at this point we're ready to go last thing we like to do is have a signal generator set up here positive and negative connections <coughs> to the new diaphragm typically done here in here we have a signal generator set to 1000 Hertz and at this point we'll just do a quick connection at low voltage make sure the connection points are tight sweep the driver diaphragm just like that and at that point we know we're ready to go this particular horn is repaired and ready to reinstall into the cabinet and if you don't have a, an audio generator um, you can also just use a, a you know a music signal at low power just want to make sure there's no buzzes or distortion uh, in the driver diaphragm and you'll be okay this one is ready to go